Hello you lovely lot, I hope you're all well. It's the start of another weekly reading vlog. Hello, hello, happy 9th of August. 9th of August, yesterday was mine and my other half's three year wedding anniversary, so we've been together 10 years in total dating, like 10, nearly 10 and a half year now. I'm married for three as of yesterday. So we had a bit of a, I wouldn't say a date day, but we had a bit of a day to ourselves. We went to a food festival, had some lunch. We didn't rush our lunch. We took our time. It was very nice. Um, and then came back and, well, we had a cinema trip and then came back and watched a film and some Chicago Med and that was it. That was the excitement. We're looking at possibly going away for the weekend next weekend but we just don't know on account of the fact that, oh my god I hate my hair. Um, that's not the reason but on account of the fact that we have just been on holiday so we also have house and things to sort. So it's quite an expensive um, month or two for us usually is anyway um but the reason i came on here is to tell you all that i'm still reading june i planned to read this while i was on holiday and i never finished it i'm on page 318 now um so i've got a little bit left to go i've got about 250 pages i think it is in total because the rest of it's all just appendices so i want to get that done this week but i say this every week i'm like oh i want to get all of the reading done and then i get none of the reading done um, I'm just trying to figure out, do you see what I have to deal with on a daily basis? This is ridiculous. Like, why was I cursed with, like, the devil curl on both sides? Um, if my hair dried like this, it wouldn't be so bad on both sides, but this is just ridiculous. Anyway, um, <laughs> I don't really have much to say about June. It's a lot of nothing and a lot of talking, and I'm kind of bummed about that. I'm interested in parts of it, and then other parts of it, I just don't care. So it's probably going to be bog standard, three star, run of the mill kind of book for me. Hopefully I'll get it done this week. I doubt it because right now I'm just feeling very tired and run down. I think it's the post holiday blues. Fingers crossed it's the post holiday blues because I haven't taken a lateral flow test. They've all been come back negative. Um, I've took some cold and flu tablets this morning and after having hardly any sleep last night, I could really do with the caffeine. So fingers crossed they kick in soon. But yeah, I think that was it. Was that it? I think that was it. My plans this week are to read June. I need to edit a Edinburgh books I bought vlog, city downy vlog thing. So I need to edit that and upload that this week. I have my driving lesson starting back up this week and I still have coursework to do. So how much of this is gonna be content, I don't know. I hit 700 followers on Instagram. So thank you so much to anybody who follows me over there. If you don't already, the link will be down in the description. I'm starting to post more regularly. So, oh my God, look at my tan line. Um, I'm starting to post more regularly. So I would love to see you over there. Come say hello. Yeah, I think that's it for this very long introduction and I shall check in with you all in a little bit. Bye. You're wonky. You are wonky, do da, do da. Nope, you're still wonky. Hello, everyone. Happy Tuesday. So, you would think I would be coming onto this reading vlog to do a reading update. No, no, no. I am here to share some things that I've shared on my Instagram story today because I decided to bring some of the things that were sent to me in the post while I was away up into the book room. So I have a few things that I would like to share. Before we get into this bit, I just want to say that I love book clubs. Does anybody else love book clubs? This is like kind of like a tangent, but I just want to talk about it anyway. Um, I love being part of a bookish community that has book clubs and read-alongs and readathons, Even if I don't actively participate in all of them or, or any of them, let's be real. Um, but... I just want to shout out some amazing cr people, like creators, content creators, amazing people that I found on Facebook, but through the bookish community, you know, from my previous life. That makes me sound like I'm back from the dead, but I'm not, bear with me. So first of all, I just want to share a couple of um, bookish, book, bookish book groups, my god, this map bookish book groups that I follow on Facebook. The first of which being Once Upon a Bookish Book Group. Now this at one point was a co-run with Chloe from Chloe Reads Books and she co-runs she co-run this with a girl named Laura who I will put 
their the socials down there and I'll put a link to the Facebook group down there. Now Chloe stepped back as she wanted to dedicate more time to her channel as we all know. She is doing amazing so shout out to Chloe. Mwah. Love you. You're amazing. Kind of diverting away from that though you know all the Chloe love because that's that's a different topic. I could spend ages talking about people I love. In fact I'm probably going to do a video on that anyway but back to the book club. <laughs> so Once Upon a Bookish Book Group does monthly theme challenges. This month would have been August, would have been the height of summer and you know a lot of these people in the group they are parents or they're teachers, they work in education. Summer is synonymous with summer holidays so they have an August theme of holidays and they're doing a book club based on that and bookish challenges based on that so you're at the airport you have this challenge you have this challenge after you've hit that airport challenge it sounds very complicated but like honestly you need to be part of the group to understand it like fully understand it because I'm explaining it rubbish but I just love being part of that community because they do things during the week such as a book and a brew challenge where you literally take a photo of your book with your drink and chat. It's so relaxed, it's just so nice. They have a rule where if you're inactive after three months they will remove you from the group so it just ensures that there is that consistent and constant kind of um, chatter going on. So for example today is Off Topic Tuesday, obviously when you see this it'll not be, but it was Off Topic Tuesday and the, one of the questions was what kind of transport or, or how do you like to travel? And I replied, everybody was like, oh car or plane or boat, blah blah blah. And I went as a passenger. <laughs> on account of the fact that at the moment I don't drive and I can't drive I'm learning therefore if I was in charge of a car I would crash it haven't got a pilot's license haven't got a sail a sailor's license I can't is that even a thing basically I said passenger literally so I could just sit and read um <laughs> you know it's quite interactive it's quite fun it's friendly I definitely recommend those guys if you also like bookish book groups <laughs> book clubs on Facebook, I'd also recommend the Daisy and V book club. Now this is run by Daisy and one of my very good bookish friends, Sophie from Sophie B Books. I'll leave their links down below. They do have socials as well. So I'll leave them down below. They're absolutely lovely. They have run the Daisy and V book club and they have done something that I haven't seen for a while now and that is a, a newsletter. They also do monthly challenges. They have a book club pick for the month um, and they have uh, like sort of, they have member spotlights as in so in their newsletters they have a member doing a review every now and again um and so far they're on to the fourth installment i think it is i'll leave some if it works i'll leave some video screenshots around or a video footage somewhere who knows maybe i'll figure it out and while i'm talking away it's scrolling who bloody knows anyway um they do have like a little bit of a my month in reading within the newsletter for both Daisy and Sophie and they also have um sort of new books coming out highlights kind of thing just all the lovely things you'd expect in a newsletter and they have digital versions and they also print and send to home for I think it's about a pound maybe because it's postage is quite cheap in the UK for just a single letter so I would definitely recommend if you need to see some book clubs I would go to those two I really love both of them for different reasons so I love the interactive part of the, the book challenge like the, the complexity of the challenges in the Once Upon a Bookish book group but I also love Daisy and B because I just love so you so much she's so lovely and so is Daisy I'm starting to get to know Daisy a little bit more she's absolutely lovely I would highly highly recommend that you go to those and then if you want it on a different platform head over to Instagram to talk word with us with Sarah and Amy so Sarah and Amy Sarah from Readers Ramblings and Amy from Talk Wordy with Amy they are my friends from uni I used to live with Sarah in my last year and Amy was introduced to me via Sarah and we studied the same course at uni or at least I studied half the course and did the other half education. We all studied theology or some form of theology and religious studies at uni together and honestly I'm so pleased that I'm managing to reconnect with them after so long. We, oh my god, like, so when did I graduate? 2014. So it's seven years since I graduated and in between then and now we haven't really talked that much like dipping in and out of each other's lives me and Sarah going yeah you know you're all right like how are you doing we should have a catch up and then I found out she had a bookish account I do too <laughs> so we reconnected again over the love of books and their August book club pick they've created talk wordy with us um their August book club 
book club pick is The Guest List by Lucy Foley. So by the time you're watching this, they're probably about halfway through. They have weekly targets and weekly breakdowns of how many pages you should read. Um, and they have weekly discussions, they have a Discord. They're very much building that community feel again as well, but on Instagram rather than the Facebook groups. So I'm very, very excited to share those three groups with you today. And I really, really hope that you go ahead and join them. They're, the links will all be down below. Yes, these are all UK based because these are all people that I've met who live in the UK or know who live in the UK. That's just where I'm from. That's not to say that if you're from international, you can't join. Of course you can join. Just head on over to each of the links down below and click follow or click request to join. Answer any questions, membership questions, anything like that. They don't cost a thing to join unless you want to buy the books that they're reading obviously or you want to buy the newsletter they're in the daisy and b book club but other than that they're free to join free to take part in free to make friends in go for it that being said i think i'll leave the book haul for another clip maybe later on hello happy wednesday i wasn't going to vlog today because my hair is ridiculous because it's naturally drying but i thought i'd update you on uh let's not call it a major life event let's be honest um i'm home alone because dan is at work meetings and what did this doofus do bend down to pick something up off the floor and my office chair just went nah mate and went out from under me so i fell <laughs> from my office chair landed funny on my ankle and right now it's is it starting to hurt a little bit? I can't tell. I don't know if it's just like in my head. It's probably just in my head, let's be honest. But yeah, it's feeling a little bit tight because I landed funny and landed hop on my ankle. I told my supervisor, sort of like one of the senior team at work, and I was like, you're gonna think I'm a right idiot, but this just happened. And she was like, are you okay, lol? <laughs> So, nice to know I can't be left alone. Dan's gone into the office for a meeting for the second day in a row for the first time in months. Um, and he's left me alone. I've managed to cook my dinner by myself, although I did kind of make it a little bit smoky in the kitchen. Um, I managed to cook my dinner for myself and then fall off my chair. So not completely incompetent, just, just partially. Great. So yeah, no reading to update you on. I don't think I'm gonna need to go to hospital. I think it's just sore. Um, I think I'll be all right, but no doubt I'll update you all <laughs> later. I'm such an idiot. Don't feel anxious, don't feel shame. If there's a question, it can't wait another day. Don't feel like it's all in vain. I try to remember it ain't a race. Happy Friday. This is like the fourth time I'm trying to film this clip because I can't get comfy. How are you all doing? I've done no reading this week. Um, shock. I know. Who'd have thought Rebecca, the booktuber who barely reads, didn't do any reading this week? So Dan's out with work. Um, he is out with work for a leaving do for the first time in months. He's, it's the first time he's been out for drinks since double vaccinations actually. So Fingers crossed he's okay. He has gone out with work, so I'm in the house on my own. I've done my first driving lesson in four weeks, which was terrifying, and I've had stuff going on this week. And I was telling my instructor about it when I got in the car. She was like, we can get out the car and stop if you want. It's fine. Like, it's okay if you would rather stay home. I was like, no, I need to do this lesson because I knew that if I didn't do the lesson, I would be built up more and more and more and playing it out more in my head and making my next lesson worse and just... I'd end up in a downward spiral and that's not what I want to do. So we did this lesson. We only did an hour to ease me back into it because my first lesson in like five weeks with holidays because she was away, I was away, then she got pinged so she had to isolate. So it's the first lesson in a month easily, if not longer. It was nice to realise that I still knew most of the things that I knew. Um, it was really reassuring. We've swapped and changed my lessons around a little bit so the majority of the time I'm doing a different day, which is nice. Um, I managed to squeeze in a couple of pages of this before I left my lesson but I'm on page 
not that one. I wish I was on that page. Bloody hell, that's near the end. Uh, <laughs> where am I? Where is my bookmark? Further ahead than that. Okay, great. Fab. There we go, found it. I'm on page 324 of this one. And for all, I'm like, oh, there's not much happening. There's actually quite a bit happening. Um, When I'm like, oh, I feel like I'm not connecting. There's a lot of dialogue and I have to realise that actually this is literally like a script more so than anything else. It's literally made for film. That's how it feels. And it's a proper old fashioned sci-fi. It's assumed that you know all of the world. I don't remember if I've told you or not. It's assumed that you remember all of the world and know all of the world. So I'm a bit like lost still, which is fine. But I'm gonna try and read some more of this tonight because it is now, what time is it? Quarter to seven. So there's a guy coming to view the house tonight. And you guys are gonna be like, but Rebecca, last time we spoke about a house, you said you'd sold it. Yes, we have sold it. You'd be correct. Um, basically, our the, the person that's selling it off, that's selling it, the person that's buying it off us is letting it out. So they've got a prospective tenant coming in to have a view of it. And I was like, right, okay. So we had to do a mass tidy up of the house last night. She says with the messy bookshelf behind her. But we're ignoring that because everywhere else is tidy, so it's fine. So they're coming tonight between seven and quarter past. So I'm going to try and squeeze in some more reading, put myself my Asda pizza in for my tea um, while Dan's out, and have me. A pizza and book night maybe and then tomorrow going to the theater tomorrow night to see bed knobs and broomsticks so what i might do is i might actually put bed knobs and broomsticks on on disney plus and have it on in the background while i'm reading june because you can't not go to the theater and not sing along to bed knobs and broomsticks let's be honest and i don't just want to be waiting and waiting and waiting for bobbing along on the bottom of the beautiful briny sea for it to not happen so plus it's got angela and brain so I think that's what I'm gonna do. I think I'm gonna put bed knobs and broomsticks on, have my pizza, read my book. I'm gonna go, I'm rambling, I'm gonna go read before the guy comes to view the house. So, house viewing done. They were absolutely lovely. I think that they are pretty much just, they're ready to literally move into this house. Um, so that's promising. I have decided I don't want my pizza. <laughs> In true me fashion, I don't want my pizza. So I think I'm gonna order a takeaway of some description and I'm gonna put bed knobs and broomsticks on and read. I say that, you know, but reading's not going to get done, let's be real here. Also, we went to the cinema to see Jungle Cruise. 10,000% recommend. Very funny. We liked it a lot. Sunday I'm using this vlog to call myself out on account of the fact that I have not picked up June and read to the pages that I thought I would last time I updated you all so today Dan is out um he's got the football with his dad and brother so he's out until at least four or five o'clock if not longer we have an Asda delivery that's a full can by the way I haven't started drinking yet uh <laughs> like it's alcohol as if come on Rebecca my plan for today is to just sit Put some YouTube videos on the big screen, which is just there, you can't see it. And just read and try and get June finished today. I could use this day for coursework, but I really don't feel like it. It's rainy outside, it's a bit gloomy. So I'm going to pick up my book. And then after that, depending on how I get on, I might try and film um, some videos or do my other little challenge that I want to do, which is get my Goodreads currently reading down because it's absolutely disgusting. But I don't know where two of the books are, so fun. Anyway, I'm going to go pick up this book, get myself a drink, get myself settled and put some YouTube on the telly. Bye. So I've been sat for the past hour trying to read June. Okay. I've read a total of like 20 pages in the past hour and I'm just... I'm not feeling it. I know I've got like just under 200 pages to go, but I'm, I just don't care. So I think, and I hate myself for it because I've read 340 pages of this book. I think I'm just going to DNF it. That's the really annoying thing is how much of the book that I've already read. I'm just DNFing it. I just, I'm so annoyed. So in the past, I had thought about DNFing this and each time I threatened myself with DNFing it, it got really interesting again. And now I just, I don't care. Don't know what's happening, don't care. I'm not really keeping up with it. So I think I am gonna have to DNF it, which absolutely sucks because this is the amount that I've read. That is like a full book, a different book. That's a full book, like what the hell? So I think I'm gonna DNF it. <laughs> and I think I'm gonna 
try and pick up something else. And I don't know if I should just pick up, I've got a thread needle in front of me, I don't know if I should pick that up or if I should go upstairs, browse my shelves and decide from there maybe. I think that's what I'm going to do because I need to find something that I want to read, not reading for the sake of finishing it off. I'm going to go do that. I take you up to browse my shelves let's go so as you can see i have some incredibly full incredibly messy shelves um various things all over them and i also have some things over there too so i don't really know what to go for part of me thinks i should go for one of these three which are the most recent fairy and lumicrates i also have all of them or the guest list by lucy foley which is the um book club pick for talk wordy to us which by this point i'd probably have to read probably like this much of it maybe today would i be able to do that i don't know i think i'd be able to do that you know shall we try it let's try it let's try it so the guest list on the back each has a secret each has a motive off the windswept irish coast guests gather for the wedding of the year old friends past grudges happy families hidden jealousies 13 guests one body wow okay so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and read some of this, see how I like it, see if I can catch up with the Talk Wordy to Us um, book club. So, I've decided I'm going to wrap up this video um, here because current Rebecca's going to go in the bath and future Rebecca's going to put a montage in before this clip so you'll already know that I've been in the bath. So, I've read the first 38 pages of the guest list and I'm on to Olivia's chapter who is the bridesmaid. So, we've read the plus one. We've read The Bride and then we've read The Best Man's Point of View. So far nothing's happened. It's the day before the wedding. They're all getting on this island. Um, they're waiting for the last two guests to arrive which is the, uh, the, the plus one and her husband. Her husband is the bride's best friend. So I don't know if there's some sort of secretly, you know, funny business going on there. But we've got some viewpoints so far. They're all alluding to some sort of... I'm not even in shot. They're all alluding to some sort of like secretive pasts and just secrets in general. We've also had the viewpoint of the wedding planner who is the one that I'm most intrigued by at the moment because she knows all of the secrets or she's going to see all of the secrets I think and I'm really hoping that she's not the one that's going to die. I have a funny feeling that it's going to be the best man potentially because the best man has so far got a lot of people who don't rate him as a person or don't particularly like his company so I'm thinking he might be the one that gets the chop possibly or the best friend um, of the bride I don't know. I really don't know. But that is it for today's vlog. Let me know what you're reading down below. Have you had a successful reading week? I feel like getting rid of June and starting this this afternoon was a good choice because I've already read more pages of this in like 45 minutes than I have the whole of June today. So that's a good sign. So I'm going to go read some more of this but if you open your description box underneath that like and subscribe button if you do want to do that that would really help my channel out so 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 much. Thank you all so much if you have done that already. I really do appreciate it. If you open that description box you'll find a link to all of my social media platforms. Um, come say hi on other platforms. I'm also on BookTok under Rebecca Reads YT for YouTube. Come and say hi on other platforms. I'm loving the interaction that I'm having on the other platforms as well. YouTube is taking a back seat but that's just me not sorting my life out properly hopefully i don't know if i'm gonna keep vlogging um the coming weeks but hopefully we have a house update for you guys soon hopefully we have progress just in general with my reading and my coursework my driving just basically hopefully everything's gonna start coming together nicely fingers crossed that it does but i will see you all soon in another video if you're at the end of this video and you don't know what to leave in the comments down below leave me a stag can we have a stag i don't know if we can have a stag emoji
possibly an animal emoji, a deer emoji if there is one. I don't think there is. Thank you all so, so much for watching and I shall see you all soon with another video of some description. Bye!